Father, I just thank you for this time. I thank you for this uh, recording. I thank you that you speak your word expressly through Robin and Prince. Thank you, Father, for bringing blessing through your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Just give the Lord a big thank you, a big clap, and just say thank you for bringing me through the month of August into uh, the month of September. We're, we're entering into a new season in, in so many ways, so many different dimensions, and it's just a joy to be here with, with my, my good son, Prince, and I, I let him go first, what the Lord's shown him for this wonderful month. So, you know, call, call your family, call your loved ones, and come and uh, prepare for the month of September with this wonderful word in Jesus name so I saw it Sep September's a big month I was seeing it's not just um, a new season we're going into it's not just another chapter in life or chapter of the year it was like we're stepping into a new chapter in a new book like when when you're reading the Bible you finish here and then it's a whole, whole nother book. I saw it as it's a whole nother book we're going into. It's a time of new beginnings. And I was even reading an article about traveling and uh, they were saying how September is known as the new January, they say. So for me, that just confirmed it that even in secular society, they're still saying September is the new beginning in the new January. It's like a new January because it's. Uh, huge I saw huge huge things coming September um, I felt there's a uh, also um, there's some atmospheres that need to be cleared uh, between relationships I I did it myself with, with my mom and my sister I felt that there's just um, some tensions between spouses or friends or colleagues or your children there are just some things that need to be cleared up so you can progress into uh, September and all the great things God has and so you won't let that hinder you or stop what's supposed to be Amen, Amen and so Lord we clear those atmospheres we clear up those misunderstandings every way that uh, Leviathan and Python spirits have tried to bring miscommunication tried to stifle the flow of love and the flow of harmony we come against those and we ask for your oil of love and understanding on your people in Jesus name Amen. 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 Praise God. Well, I, I love that word about clearing stuff up because um, as we uh, approach these uh, these uh, ember months, September, October, November, December, um, the word that the Lord gave me, first of all, for, for his body, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 8, he says, let not your let your garments always be be white and let your head not lack for oil and for ointment and the, the whiteness speaks of uh, having a very uh, a very close account with the lord and walking in purity walking in holiness um, also psalm 92 verse 10 uh, i will be anointed with fresh oil it's a month to receive fresh oil uh, for, for a couple of reasons one is as we enter into 2020 2020 is going to be an incredible year a year of incredible harvest and you want to begin to position yourself you want to begin to get yourself in that frame of mind in that place where you are coasting into 2020 you know just really on the crest of the wave you know just loving the, the the love of the father and just with this fire burning upon you but a second reason that we need to do that is um I, I heard the Lord say that September will begin the months of my righteous judgments my arm will be stretched out to remove forces that would seek to further entrench evil in the nations and seek to attempt to delay or subvert my plans for the nations and and the Lord is speaking both about in the political uh, realm but he's also speaking about in in church in in, in the Christian realm and um, I heard the Lord say that uh, men will sleep and I saw this men would would sleep and they would not wake up you know this we shouldn't think this strange um, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 28 to 34 says for this reason many die many sleep many fall asleep and many are sick because they don't discern the Lord's body as they ought to we also see people falling asleep and some waking up some not waking up we see it in Acts chapter 12 where Herod uh, he fell asleep and he, he didn't he didn't wake up again God needed to remove him because of what he stood for we see it in Acts chapter 13 where Paul Paul spoke to the the um by Jesus the, the the false prophet and he spoke to him and he said look you, you'll be blind unable to see for a while for a season and so he fell into a temporary uh, 
place or where there was a suspension of his services of, of his of his faculties we also see it in acts chapter 9 verse 1 to 9 with the conversion of saul where a, a light he saw a light and he was unable to see so father god i thank you for those that you need to uh, release lord sleep on father in the name of jesus that there would be a furtherance of your plans and a release of your purposes for the church and for the nations i want to encourage you um you know i've been to nigeria four times there and the lord me speaking about the state of the church in nigeria and loads of, i believe loads of um, african nations um are involved in the same uh, just listen to my words about the imminent judgment that, that's coming um on the church in that nation so it's a time to uh, walk in white it's a time to walk in the true and genuine anointing of the holy spirit I also saw changes in the political terrain of several nations. I saw five nations in particular. I saw in Japan, in Tunisia, in Somalia, and in Algeria, I saw a, a, a shift. I saw like mountains rising up and mountains also crumbling. And it's because God wants to put his men in position, his men in place that would favor the preaching of the gospel. I saw a bridge being built between Nigeria and Niger for the, the preaching of the gospel. You see the plan of the, of, of the Lord for the nation of Nigeria in, in, um, in West Africa is for that nation to be used for the proclamation of the gospel throughout the region and so there's a, a, a marriage almost a linking coming between Nigeria and Niger in the spirit because the gospel is going to go from Nigeria into Niger <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be so exciting hallelujah um, here in the UK I saw uh, for Boris Johnson that he would become stronger and one of the things that will strengthen him is that I saw a Coalition. It's it's a, a, almost a strange uh, alliance, a particular coalition, a particular group. It's almost, I'm not sure it's a political party, but I saw another group, you know, coming alongside him. And that gives him the weight to tip him over in, in the in, and win the race. I saw him passing the finishing line concerning his assignment uh, for the UK to get the UK out of, out, of, um, out of the EU and in freedom. So Father, we thank you. We release that for your servant, um, Boris Johnson. Let him know you also in Jesus' name. I saw a lot of um, shaking going on in, in the stocks, and I, I saw mercy uh, being released and help being released for many to become homeowners. Now, obviously, every month many do, but I believe that there, there's the, that this is a word for, for somebody who's, who's, who's listening, who's tuning in, in the name of Jesus, that grace and favor and opportunity will come for you to buy your house, to buy your land, to begin to build your house in the name of Jesus. The Lord reminded me of the position of, uh, of homes in the, in the early church. In, in Peter's house, when, when Peter was about imprisoned, it, there was a prayer meeting in the house of Peter's mother-in-law. Are you with me? So, Father, I thank you. I release property, O God, for the proclamation, the furtherance of your gospel in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I saw a warning concerning um, health. There's grace being released for 1 Timothy 4, 8, where it says uh, bodily exercise has some profit. You need to access that. And you need to begin to look after your body, um, look after your body, uh, respect the natural laws of health pay attention don't let sickness rob you of days and of productivity in jesus name and lord i speak psalm 91 verse 16 over your people with long life you will satisfy them show them their salvation i declare exodus chapter 23 over your people in the name of jesus the number of your days you will fulfill in jesus name i speak luke 11 3 over you father thank you give your people daily bread and daily health in jesus name then, um, th thank you, son. It's a, it's a long one today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Then I also saw that um, I, the Lord began to show me gold, first of all, and then certain precious mortals and ore. He showed me that from the middle of September, there would be a slump in the market going up to the third week. And I was saying, Lord, why, why are you showing me this? And the Lord was saying that, that, that somebody needs to listen to this. Put your faith in God. Obey God. Obey the promptings of his spirit. Don't put your faith in gold. Don't put your faith in, in precious metals. Put your faith in God. God in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God and then I also saw that there was a, a grace for giving Proverbs 11 24 25 says there's one who scatters and yet increases more and there's one who withholds more than his meat and it tends to poverty the generous soul will be made fat but he who waters shall be watered himself also and I felt that it was right and appropriate today uh, you know as we as we enter the month of September to invite people to partner with this ministry as we take the plumb line of the Lord to
to the nations. We've made about uh, nine or ten trips out of the country, and our, our call is to go, you know, teach and impart on, on prophetic grace, prophetic gifting, but also to bring the apostolic line of the, the plumb line, the plumb line ministry. So if you want to partner with us, feel free. You're very welcome to do so. I, I felt also to set aside September the 5th to pray with, with partners, people who want to partner in this ministry. So my, my phone lines will be, will be open from 10 in the morning till 10 at night to pray for people uh, who would like to partner with this ministry. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Just just pray for the people of God, will you, son? Not yet. So, September, I saw it's not a time to sit down. It's not a time to relax or put your feet up. That these last few months of the year, they're going to be very full. The fullest ember months we've ever had so far, but they're also going to fly by. That as soon as, if you say, no, I'll take my foot off the gas a little bit, that's when you'll see that oh it's 2020 already because they're going to just fly by but they're going to be very full and i pray they'll be very productive and fruitful for you amen and i also saw um it's a time of uh some prayers you may have prayed and you've been asking god you've been waiting for years almost and uh, and then you kind of forget about it and i saw september was a time where many hearts desires will be fulfilled and things that you were pressing for and may have forgotten about i saw your the holy spirit will remind you of those things that there's that famous you know the picture where someone's digging and they're this close to the gold and they turn back but someone else is digging and they just keep going and they get there so i saw it's not a time to turn back or take your foot off that keep trusting keep pressing keep working hard um, it's time to be it's busy time it's time to get busy and start doing things and um, I also saw there are some things that can't continue in September uh, otherwise because the new God's calling for a new um, new level of pure purity and holiness that uh, some you know it's time to let go of certain things I saw many people may still be holding on to some things and it's really slowing them down I saw you just you just won't make it through September or uh, and you won't be at the level you would be at if you hadn't stopped it. Yeah, yeah, that's so right. So I saw it's a call for new levels of holiness and yeah, purity. That's right. That's right. And um, even a testimony about I wanted um, funny, I'm wearing it now. I'd wanted a green shirt like this years ago for years. And I got some others like it. And then just today. Uh, picked up my best friend I hadn't seen him for almost a year and we went to a shop and there was the shirt that I'd been wanting for years Hallelujah. and years Hallelujah. so I just saw it's going to be a time of pleasant surprises for Amen. Amen Jesus, Jesus. Amen, Amen Jesus you know um, as my son was saying about the weeds the things that need to come off I'm about to reach for a cutlass and I'm going to ask for my wife who's recording this to just video me as I cut off weeds because there are weeds that are there are weeds that are around people and they need to be they need to be broken in the name of Jesus and so Father God just follow me with the camera in the name of Jesus wherever there is a weed that is stifling trying to stifle the, the life and the growth of your people Father God whether it be a sickness whether it be a, 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 a relational issue Father God whether it be an interior issue and an interior issue where you're feeling uh, a, low, a, a lack of uh, self-esteem in the name of Jesus whatever it is that would try to stop and barricade the path of your people as we enter into this month father as I take this Lord I command there to be a significant a release in the spirit for your sons and daughters weeds go in Jesus name hallelujah shalom God bless you have a great month amen